This is Twit. Let's see if we can find some drama in the X-Elite, the Snapdragon chips. And Rob, what's going on there? There's probably, I mean, there's probably drama there, but really, I'm just here to bring the excitement. Because, <laughs> it, I mean, it's, 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 it was around this time last year um, when we really started talking about and getting excited for the Snapdragon stra- eh? Snap X-Elite laptops. They were, at that time, we're coming out soon. They came out in June. Yeah, uh, yeah, we still don't have an XC Elite laptop powered by Linux out of the box. Uh, Tuxedo Computers announced last year they were working on one, but that hasn't materialized yet. So, you know, we're stuck making do with the Windows 11 X Elite laptops, making them work for our needs. So, uh, I haven't had one yet, but for those who do, they're making them work for their needs because <laughs> I haven't got enough coffees donated. But anyway, <laughs> you know, unfortunately for that, uh, we have had Canonical with Ubuntu. They've been working uh, hard. They've been working on the issue. I don't know how hard they've been working, but um, from the distribution side, providing Ubuntu 24.10 developer preview images for the X Elite chips. And so Michael over at Veronix, he decided finally, you know, it's been almost a year. Finally, let's purchase uh, the Acer Swift 14. Um, and, and, and benchmark to see what the current state of things are. He goes through, there's some, yeah, so, some issues here and there, you know, apparently some things aren't fully functional yet. Like, like the power management handling, uh, evidently isn't properly wired up yet. Uh, and under load, the laptop would get incredibly hot to the touch to the point where the system would turn itself off during the benchmark. Fortunately, most of us aren't taxing our systems like that. We're not running benchmarks. We're just using them. Uh, but, you know, overall, he noted his experience over the past week was rather disappointing. But he still ran a bunch of tests on it. And, you know, as expected. It, it doesn't it doesn't compete with the most modern processors on most workloads, but I thought it came out pretty well when comparing with with some of the processors from just a few years ago. And to me, that's that's kind of a win for ARM, at least a good step forward. So so the benchmarks uh, were against AMD and Intel, obviously, and they're ranging back to like the the eighth, the eighth, tenth gen Intel, AMD Ryzen 7, 4700, stuff like that. Um, and most of the benchmarks for the X Elite was, you know, the X Elite was down near the bottom, in the bottom half, but typically above many of the older processors on the list, like like the 8th and 10th gen Intel processors, it was usually above those. And the X Elite actually came out on top on some of the, some of them, like Dark Table 1 and a 7 zip benchmark, actually came out on top on some of them. So, you know, there's some good things there, but you know, overall, the Snapdragon X Lite uh, within the Acer Swift 14 came out just ahead of the Core i7 1185G7 Tiger Lake laptop, and similar to the AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 5850U. Uh, but obviously, you know, the article did not point this out, but I think it's obvious. I mean, nobody expected it to be the powerhouse, like up there on top. I mean, it's not Apple Silicon, but, but obviously as to be expected, um, it is still well behind the very newest AMD Strix point Zen five and Intel lunar Lake generations. But, you know, the overall out of the 23 systems, the two actually devices he tested came out at number 16 and 17. So quite a few of them down there, you know, kind of three quarters of the way through. But this is ARM, you know, and to me, uh, on ARM chip that uh, that doesn't come out last against AMD and Intel, it's a pr- I think it's a good sign for the future. Uh, I think I will I, I would have loved to have seen you know I kind of hinted there about uh, it's not Apple. I would have loved to see a comparison against another kind of ARM chip. Um, I would love to see a comparison with the M1 M2 Max with mm-hmm. Asahi Linux on there. I mean, sure, you, you'd be comparing different distributions too, but I think that's fair for this because 
Ubuntu is what you have for the X-Elites. Asahi is what you have for the M1, M2 Max. So, you know, I think it's a fair comparison. No different than comparing Windows against Mac OS, mm -hmm. you know, on comparable hardware. So I, th I think that would have been, you know, even if it's not head-to-head -head hardware, I think it would have been uh, cool to see where that fit in there. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely would have been interesting. Uh, did did he do a um, like performance per watt sort of uh, sort of benchmark in there? Um, I think that was one of them. He couldn't because of the power stuff. Makes sense. Yeah. He he did like uh, web browser like Firefox. It it tested pretty well there. Uh, seven zip. There's like fifteen pages on there. So there's a lot of things he went through. I I couldn't even summarize. Well, besides given his uh, overall. Uh, score at the end there's no way i could even summarize going through all of them i try to pick out what what some of the highlights are at the top but based on this i pr would probably pick the framework 16 with the ryzen 7 in it that's what he recommended i think um probably. So, sounds like what he said there but you know that's if you're looking for pure power i i don't i guess I, like you like you said i don't think he had the uh or like i said i don't think he had the uh power per uh, um, performance comparison there. Uh, I'm looking at power per dollar. <laughs> yeah, it's a slightly different metric, but one that is definitely important. Um, I, I kind of thought I heard that these um, these windows on ARM, the Snapdragon laptops, were not actually selling very well. Um, and I went looking for a source on that. And of course, I'm having trouble finding it other than uh, apparently, one, apparently Amazon applies the frequently returned item warning oh. to some of the uh, ARM-based Surface laptops. So, uh, you know, make of that what you will. <sighs> That's too bad. I, I hope they're at least doing better than uh, Microsoft's last attempt at ARM. <laughs> hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>